All right, I have no idea what's going on now, but it is officially foundation season. Guys, I just barely got done finishing my Pat McGrath Sublime foundation review. And Rihanna just like jumped out of nowhere with this Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. So like, I'm just kind of like, oh my God. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha, if you are new here and today, we are gonna be reviewing slash getting ready together, okay? Rihanna just released the new Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. This literally arrived at my doorstep like, like an hour ago and I just knew I instantly had to record this today. I'm actually so, so excited because I feel like Rihanna just like answered all our foundation prayers. Uh, with the first launch of the Pro Filter Original Foundation, it was nice, like it looked very beautiful on the skin, but it was just very, very drying. I am someone who likes a really nice hydrating, glowy, dewy, fresh makeup look, and I feel like that was just way too matte for me, and I feel like a lot of people also had the same idea. So they finally listened to us. They launched their Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. Is this it? Yeah, Pro Filter Hydrating Long Wear Foundation. So I'm gonna be giving this a test today and I'm really excited for it. So if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Actually, I mean, it's free. You might as well subscribe. Um, I believe, I'm not sure when I'm posting this video, but like, as of right now, we are literally this close, this, this, close, okay, to 300,000 subscribers. So I would just really appreciate it if you just click the red subscribe button down below, join the fam, everything will be great. And uh, let's get into this video. So y'all, I literally just got this package this morning. Fenty Beauty released their new Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation as well as their Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. And for those of you who have been on my channel for a while, you'd actually know that the Fenty Beauty Original uh, Pro Filter Primer is one of my favorite primers. I take that with me everywhere. I love it so much. So I'm really interested to see if I enjoy this as well. Um, I love a good hydrating primer, so I feel like I probably will enjoy it. And I also have the hydrating foundation here the packaging of course is nothing short of amazing I mean it's Fenty Beauty so are we really surprised now, to be completely honest I actually don't have my perfect match in the Fenty Beauty foundation so hopefully this goes well but they sent me four different shades over here hopefully one of these actually end up matching I'm just gonna take them out I like I'm living for this packaging. It is so, so beautiful. I love the fact that you can actually see the color um, and it's not like a frosted glass. Sometimes the frosted glass kind of like messes with what the actual foundation looks like inside. So sometimes it's hard to pick your shade, but I just, I love everything that they did with this package. I think it's beautiful. I love that it's plastic. You don't have to worry about it breaking or anything. So. Um, right off the bat, I love that. Um, and this foundation is actually launching on August 15th, so it's not out right now, but I thought that I would just have my review up a little early. Uh, this is what the um, primer looks like as well. It's really beautiful. It's the same packaging as their original primer, but it's actually a little bit more of like a baby pink. Also, in case you already watched my Pat McGrath video um, on their new foundation, a lot of people were wondering if I ended up going back to switch my shade, and yes, I did. After I saw Jackie Ina's video, um, I ended up getting the same shade as her. She picked 26. Um, the only reason why I didn't have my perfect shade is because I'm not on the Pat McGrath PR list. So um, usually when you are on a PR list, you get the product in a couple different shades. But since I'm not, I'm not gonna buy, you know, four different shades of a 70 or, yeah, basically $70 foundation. It's just, it don't make no sense. Um, so that's why it kind of went left um, over there. But I haven't tried 26 yet, but I don't know, judging off of Jackie's video, I feel like it will match pretty well. So anyways, these are the four shades. From lightest to darkest, we have 385, 420, 430, and 450. So this is the uh, 115 Kabuki, Bu Kabuki Buff Foundation Brush. It looks pretty good. I mean, it looks like your standard Kabuki brush just in the Fenty Beauty packaging. It looks really nice. It's very dense. Um, so yeah, I'm most likely going to be using this. I've been using brushes more often lately. I'm like a beauty blender girl, but um, I don't know, with like more hydrating foundations, BB creams, tinted moisturizers, I generally like a brush because you get a little bit more coverage, but I also have their a beauty sponge as well, also from Fenty Beauty um, on standby. So this is 385. You could see that is way too light. This one over here is 420. I think 420 is probably gonna be the best match for me. And now that I'm tan, I think it'll actually be 
perfect. This one is 430. That is 450 right over there. So those are all four shades that I received. So I'm gonna go in with the Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. And ooh, that's what it looks like. It's kind of like this really nice milky consistency. You can see it is dripping down. It smells so good. It smells like the original one, but wow. It is super hydrating. It literally feels like a drink of water on the skin. It's kind of giving me um, Smashbox uh, primerizer vibes, but this is definitely a, a little bit thicker than primerizer. Like I find it's actually going to grip the makeup really nicely. It has, it's very hydrating, but it almost has like a, a smoothing, not tacky, but just like a gripping feel to it. Like I feel like it's really gonna grip onto the foundation nicely. I'm gonna go in with the shade 420 and I'm just gonna do like two pumps. It has kind of like baby pumps, um, not like the best, honestly, I think there's something wrong with my 420 pump. It's not like pumping out properly. This is what the foundation looks like. It is kind of dripping, but it's not too liquidy. Like it's definitely not as liquidy as the Pat McGrath foundation, just on like first impression. I wasn't going to color correct at first, but just to give it a fair shot, I will. Since it is more of like a medium to buildable foundation. So just for your reference, on the box it does say it's a hydrating medium to full coverage for all skin tones and it's long wear and light as air. So I'm just stippling the foundation all over my face. And so far it's actually, although it's a hydrating foundation, I thought it'd be like really light coverage and liquidy, but it's actually pretty thick still. Not like super thick, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> But as you can see, like that's actually a pretty good match. I thought it would be a little bit too light when I first done it on the skin, but now that it is blending out, um, it actually is like a perfect match. I still think it could be a little bit more neutral. Like it still is pretty orange on me, but not as bad as the other one for sure. So with the brush, it's actually blending out nicely, but I feel like with this formula, I might actually prefer a beauty blender, so. I'm first just gonna like stipple this all over the face and then I am definitely gonna go in with this afterwards. You guys mentioned in my last uh, foundation review that you guys like get anxiety anytime I bring my foundation close to my hijab line because you think it's gonna get all over it. I know it gives me anxiety too y'all, especially when I'm editing. But I mean, I obviously don't wear my hijab when um, I'm doing my foundation and I'm not filming, but since I am filming, I gotta finesse it a little bit, you know? So now that I pretty much have it all over my face, I'm gonna take the flat side of the uh, Fenty Beauty beauty sponge and just kind of like pat that around the skin and really push the product in. So this is pretty much one layer of the foundation. And I have to say, I really, really do like the finish. Maybe it's because I have a tan, I don't know, but I think the color looks a lot, lot better on my skin. And it's still giving me that super airbrushed, flawless filter. And I really like it. So that's what it's looking like. You can see it is very glowy. It's very skin-like. Let me just come up close for you guys so you can really see the finish of this foundation. It looks super, super beautiful. And it definitely has like full coverage. Like I didn't really build this up to its full potential. I built it up to more like a medium, but even if I just put like a little bit more on, it would be like a definitely full glam, full coverage. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. If you're wondering about the scent of the foundation also, um, it smells exactly like the original foundation. Um, it smells really good. I personally love the smell. So concealer is layering on top of the foundation really nicely in case you're wondering. 
I am just using the same Fenty Beauty sponge. I find it's kind of an awkward shape, especially for concealer. Like it's really nice for foundation because it has this flat side. But for concealer, I just like never really know which way to use it. And for powder, I'm using the Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder. The translucent one is my favorite. I'm not a fan of the medium color. So I'm only going to set everywhere that I put concealer. I'm not going to set anywhere else. I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty bronzer in Coco Naughty. Mine is literally filthy, so <laughs> do not mind that. This is my favorite or one of my favorite bronzers. I have a couple favorites, but I mean, as you can tell by how disgustingly dirty this packaging is, um, it is well loved in my collection. I also use this bronzer to contour my nose. I don't really like contour contour, but I just kind of like take my bronzing brush and brush it along the sides of my nose and it kind of just gives a nice shape to it. And then I just like to take any big fluffy brush and just use that to kind of like diffuse everything together. All right, I want to do a very quick and simple glam on the eyes. So I'm gonna take this ColourPop palette. It's the California Love palette. And it looks like this. It has really beautiful shades inside. And I'm just gonna do a quick like bronzy look. Um, I'm gonna take the shade Gold Rush. It's like this reddish brown. I'm gonna just put that into my crease. I also just saw that Jackie Ina is collaborating with Anastasia Beverly Hills on an eyeshadow palette and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Actually, speaking of, um, I'm pretty sure she just launched her exclusive preview since today I'm filming on the 5th. So <laughs> one minute, I want to purchase it. No! Damn it! <laughs> Literally the first photo that I go on on Instagram, it says it's sold out because I missed it, so. That sucks. Um, all right, I'm actually kind of pissed off now. <laughs> I missed it because I was filming this damn video. Okay, all right, let's continue. It looks fire though. Like I feel like that palette, I need it in my life to stop using neutrals as I'm using a neutral palette. Um, I've just been like stuck in a rut using bronzers all over my eyes and that's it and mascara. So I feel like if I have that palette in my life, like I will actually experiment with color more. Also, this brush is lit. It's the Morphe M353, wait, sorry, 535. It's such a good blending brush. I don't know what shade I wanna use. I'm gonna take the shade uh, Sequoia, Sequoia? I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> this orange one. And I'm gonna just put that slightly lower. Get like a nice gradient going on. Ooh, those colors are so pretty. All right, what I think I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take this by Hourglass. It's one of their scattered light glitter eyeshadows and this is in the shade Burnish. It's so pretty. And I'm just gonna take that on my finger, just kind of like dip my finger in there and then dab it all over my lid. These shadows are super, super nice. They're very like creamy. They're almost like a cream to powder. They're so beautiful. And I'm just gonna take my blending brush again and just kind of blend out the edges a little bit. And then going back into the California Love palette, um, there's this shade over here called El Captain. It's like a glitter shade, like it's an actual pressed glitter. And I'm just gonna take that and just kind of like dab it over top to add just a glimmer to the eyes.
And now just to kind of like deepen out the outer edges, I'm gonna go into the shade Highway One. This does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but I don't think it'll show up on the eyes. I'm just gonna add that to the outer corner. All right, I also ended up just adding a little bit of the shade Mission, which is like a deep brown, um, just in the outer corner, and I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> but I'm going to um, just kind of put those transition shades in my lower lash line as well, so it doesn't look too crazy. So I'm done with my eyes for the lashes because I feel like I'm gonna get questions on these. I use the new Huda Beauty Times Lottie um, lashes. I guess they collaborated Lottie Tomlinson. Um, so yeah, I actually really like them. They're silk lashes, which I don't think Huda Beauty had silk lashes before, but they are gorgeous. So let's just finish off the rest of my look. I actually just picked this up the other day. It's the Natasha Denona um, Tan Bronze and Glow Palette. I saw this in Sephora and I literally had to have it. Like it looks so beautiful from the packaging to everything. Like even on the inside, it is just freaking gorgeous. It's just so beautiful. So it has like two cream products up here, a uh, blush slash bronzer, and then a highlighter. So I'm gonna be using this on the face. So first I'm gonna take the blush slash bronzer and hopefully this is a good shade. I feel like that's actually really, really pretty. It goes like perfectly with the look that I have on today. And this is actually my first Natasha Denona product ever. Like I've never, tried any of her products, so I'm glad that I picked this one up because it's really pretty. Ooh, that is gorgeous. It just kind of like gives a more sun-kissed look. That is gorgeous. I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep this palette, but now I definitely am. And then for the highlights, I do wanna go in with the cream but I also don't want it to affect the foundation. Like I don't want it to add more dew. I just kind of want to see how the foundation lasts on its own. So I'm just going to use the powder and it's the Glow Impact Powder. This one at the end, I'm just going to add some there. Oh, that's so pretty. Add a little bit into my brow and right above the brow as well. By the way, this is a Sigma Spotlight Duster F37 brush. It's literally my go-to highlighting brush. I just find it adds like a nice overall highlight instead of like a streak. It just adds like a really nice glow to the cheeks. Use my finger to add a little bit onto the nose and above my lip. Now this is also the point that I would spray my face, but since I wanna see how this foundation lasts on its own, I'm not gonna do any setting. Um, and then for lips, I wanna, I wanna try this new product. I'm just trying a bunch of new makeup today because I usually do such basic looks, but um, this is by Honest Beauty. I think they just launched their first lip products or liquid lipsticks, I'm not really sure, but I'm actually really excited to use this. I'm actually going to an Honest Beauty event um, later this week and Jessica Alba herself is actually gonna be there and I freaking love Jessica Alba, so I'm gonna try to keep my cool during the dinner, but um, all of the shades are kind of pinkish. I'm not a huge fan of like pinkish colors, but this one is called BFF. It's a little bit more neutral, so I'm gonna put it on and see how that looks. That's actually quite nice. I am gonna put a little bit of a lip liner on first though. I'm gonna use this Kaja one. It's like a brown lip liner. Kind of like a cool tone brown, so I think it'll match nicely with this. And then I'm gonna go in with the Honest Beauty liquid lipstick. Hmm, I think that color actually goes really well with the eyes. I actually really like the formula. It's not too thick. It's a really nice, like, pillowy, soft formula. But I am gonna go in a little bit more with the brown liner. 
So guys, that is my completed look with the Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation and then all the other products that I used. I'll have everything that I linked down below, but I am going to do a wear test. So I'm just gonna come back at the very end of the night um, to share my thoughts because I feel like this video is already kind of long, but I love it. Like, I mean, obviously the highlight over here is from the Natasha Denona palette, but other than that, you can just see my skin looks very radiant, even on my forehead where I don't have any powders or, um, you know, product there. It just looks so radiant and so glowy, so beautiful. It's very, very comfortable on the skin. So, so far I'm actually really, really loving this foundation. Um, yeah, I really like it. I, I was very unsure about it because again, the shades haven't worked for me previously, but this shade, the finish, everything feels really comfortable. So I have really high hopes. I'm very excited and I will see you at the end of the night. So it's been a couple hours now. I feel like it's been about four hours since I um, last filmed that last clip. And I just wanted to show you guys what the foundation looks like in direct sunlight. You can see um, it has sort of settled into my smile line. So that happens with everything. Um, it's just the expression in my face. It always like, you know, gets smile lines there. But everywhere else looks so beautiful. It is definitely very glowy, very dewy. I haven't touched up at all. Um, but yeah, this is just a really quick check-in. I'm gonna check in at the end of the night, but I really just wanted to show you guys in natural daylight. It looks beautiful. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all, so I am back for my last check-in, and um, we're, looking a little bit, we're looking a little bit shiny, um, but, you know, it is a hydrating, glowy, dewy foundation, and although I look super, okay, I look kind of greasy, I'm not gonna lie, um, the foundation actually hasn't really moved, like, it hasn't separated anywhere. Let me just bring my mirror a little bit closer. But it hasn't separated anywhere. It still looks really, really beautiful on the skin. Um, of course, like, I mean, it did settle into my smile lines, but like I mentioned, that happens with pretty much every single foundation. It doesn't really bug me. Um, I mean, that's a lie. It does bug me, but there's nothing we can do about it because, you know, expressions happen. Overall, I really like this foundation. Um, if you have oily skin, I would definitely definitely steer clear of this foundation unless you want to be blotting every hour um i feel like within the net within the first like two hours there was definitely some dew happening i personally don't mind it like i actually really really like this glow and i'm actually just going to take the fenty beauty powder and just show you how i would kind of like touch this up um, just to decrease a little bit of the shine. So I'm sorry, the lighting is kind of harsh. I normally film with um, natural daylight, so I haven't really figured out the nighttime uh, situation yet, but I have this like ring light right beside me and it's kind of bright, so um, it might look a little bit more shiny on this side, but this is kind of how it's looking. I think it honestly still looks really, really good. Um, so now, Let's blot a little bit. Just gonna blot kind of like in the areas that are super oily. So you can already see that like really reduce the shine. Here is still very glowy, so I wanna keep that. It's mainly just in, around my nose, and I normally do get oily around that area. I have like normal, um, I have pretty normal skin, but I do tend to get oily throughout the day, especially if it is warm and humid. I personally like the glow that it's leaving on my forehead, but um, let's just tone it down just ever so slightly because we are on camera. So there we go, I just blotted. And any extra shine that you see is either highlighter or it's just like the weird glare. Um, in person, it looks pretty much good as new now. So overall, I think this foundation is actually really, really nice. But again, if you have oily skin, this is not made for you. The original one would probably be the best formula, but if you have dry skin or if you just really like that dewy, beautiful, fresh look um, or have a hydrating look, then 
I think this is it. So uh, that is my review for the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation and Primer. I really, really love the primer, regardless of whether I wear this foundation or not. I think that's gonna be my new favorite hydrating primer. I actually really loved how it kind of gripped the makeup and you know, sometimes if it's a bad foundation, this is one thing, a lot of people are like, oh, all foundations will look good on you because you have good skin. No, that is not true. I have foundations that break up a lot on my skin or the breakage happens around my nose and there's nothing there right now. So I'm thoroughly impressed. So I will definitely be using this foundation a lot more. I'm really happy with the shade and everything. Um, let me know what you guys think of it. Let me know what you think of it on my skin. Um, if you think it looks a little too dewy or oily or greasy, or if you really liked the fresh, like, you know, natural look. So yeah, that's my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you are gonna be picking up this foundation on August 15th. It will be in stores and online at Sephora. I think Fenty Beauty and Harrods or wherever else Fenty sells. Um, let me know if you guys will pick it up. And when it is available, um, I will have a link in the description box down below, but I love you guys. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Join the fam, get me to 300K. We are literally so so close by the time I'm uploading this video so I'd love it for you guys to join and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye everyone! Mwah.